trying to help her and she's dying in my driveway. Okay. I need somebody to come get this dog. On July 31st, 2023, an officer was dispatched to the address 881 due to a report concerning a Labrador dog that appeared to be dying. The officer's role was to assess the situation, provide immediate assistance, and possibly involve animal control or veterinary services to address the dog's condition. Akron Police and Fire, Dispatcher 182. How can I help you? The dog is in, at, 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 on the side, on the side, like four or five houses on the curb. I'm trying to help her, she's dying in my driveway. Okay. I need somebody what? to come get this dog. Okay, what's your address? She's not dead yet. My fiance's trying to like try to help help her help her swallow okay, water. What's your, what's your I'm address? Out of her butt. It's eight, 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 one. Okay. What kind of dog is that? Was it hit? I don't. It looks like a lab. Okay. Was it hit? Or no, by a car? Or he, you... he said he looks. No, she was just lay, she was just laying uh, in in the grass a couple houses down, and I had knocked on the people's door, and they said that she. That um, they had already called the dog warden this morning that she's been laying there for the last hour. So I grabbed her and I brought her to my house. Okay. I put her in my try to give her rice and she wouldn't eat no food or nothing like that. And I'm about to go clean out my bathtub too because this, this dog is in my driveway dying. She has blood coming out of her ass. Upon arriving at the scene, the officer met with the caller who reported discovering the Labrador dog. This indicated that the dog was abandoned or lost in an area that was not actively used or inhabited, which could have contributed to its distress. This dog is literally dying, almost dead in my yard. All right. Okay. And it's a puppy. She don't even look like she's not even like eight, nine months old. I found her down the street okay. this morning. I, I asked neighbors, she's, she's barely breathing. She's dying. She has blood coming out of her ass. She had worms coming out of her I don't, I don't know who, I asked everybody whose dog it was. They said, don't nobody on the street have a lab. Everybody got pits. German Shepherds and all that. She's alive. She's a puppy. Well, she's breathing. I called the dog warden three times. It's 8 o'clock this morning. You got her a towel? This is the only thing I have. Did you, did you see any open wounds? No, ain't no open wounds. Like, it ain't nothing. Um, I was feeling on her ribs, and her ribs feel like somebody kicked her. Let's get her on this towel. When the officer arrived, the Labrador dog was found lying in the caller's driveway. The dog was in a severely emaciated state with flies around it, indicating neglect or abandonment. Its breathing was shallow and it was unresponsive, suggesting a critical condition likely due to starvation, dehydration, or another serious health issue. I'm gonna bring her to the animal hospital. Please, please, please let me know. She's okay. Can you open my car door for me? Can you open this door for me? Actually, uh, I don't know if she's gonna fall. Uh, you wanna put her in a trunk? You wanna put her in a trunk? I, Perfect, here. Ah, uh, shoot. I found the dog. Uh, you know what? I found her down here by the second fire hydrant this morning. I found the dog. Can I bring her to the dog hospital? Can you... Yeah, the, I know, whatever the I one know. on Maslin Road. No, I'll, I'll come back if I do. I got your, okay. you got your number, right? Yeah, I gave it to the Thank you. 14 King Camp. Please. Well. No. Uh, she got to the hospital. Oh and then, um. They accepted care and they said that actually she's microchipped, so. Really? Like, yeah. So she was somebody's dog? Yeah, okay. uh, at some point. But I was wondering where, where you found the. And they, I'm sorry, they took your towel too. 
Oh, I ain't worried about that towel. Fuck the towel. I was worried about the dog. I didn't think so. That was my rug. I ain't worried about that rug either. Okay. I just, I, I had brought her, it was my rug for right here, but it's cool. I, okay. I didn't want her just laying on the ground right. in the concrete, you know what I'm saying? Because when I was trying to help her breathe, like I was trying to tell the other officer, I was trying to like open her mouth and stuff like that. But like her mouth was stiff to where like she, I had to literally put my hand in her mouth and force her mouth to open for me to give her water and stuff like that. Right. And when I called the dog warden three times today, three times since I found her at 10 something this morning, um, not the, not yeah, this yeah. fire hydrant by my house, not the second uh, one, but that one over here where this house is looked like it's getting built. Can you show me like, <laughs> sorry, my door. So, I'm trying to. I'm trying. What I'm trying to determine is if the dog was a stray that didn't eat for a while. I don't or know. Because when uh, I found her, she looked like she was starving, and I literally, I forced, not really forced. I tried to force some chicken broth down her throat, some water okay. down her throat. I made a post on Facebook um, about it. The officer carefully picked up the emaciated dog and placed it inside the vehicle for transport. The officer then drove the dog to Metro Veterinary Hospital in Copley. The veterinarians at Metro Veterinary Hospital informed the officer that the dog was microchipped. This means the dog had a small embedded chip containing identification information. Um, and somebody told me, you know, it, I, was let, I made a post talking about, you know, there's, there's blood coming out her ass and all that. Um, next door to where them people are moving in. Okay. That house is just now getting built. It has like, uh -huh. it don't have tile and everything on it. She was sitting right, not, that fire hydrant, she was right by that pole right there, next, right after the fire hydrant. She was laying by the pole. They weren't there. Okay. So if, I'm going to ask them, yeah. Um, so do you, do you think it came from that house or do you think it was just, I mean. I don't know. I no. honestly don't know. Okay. That's, it's not a bit, I mean, I'm just. Trying to gauge if it's abuse or if it's just a lost dog or didn't. I feel like, like in my heart, I have five dogs, okay? uh -huh. and three of them were rescued to where they were starving when I got them. Now they're the biggest dogs on right. the block. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, but she was right here on the other side of the pole. Um, only, only because if there's, a, if there's hey, other dogs. Is y'all mom here? So, earlier this morning, right, y'all weren't here. Early this morning, I picked up a dog that was laying by this pole. Nobody was over here. And I brought her to my house and she was dying. Do you guys know anybody on this block that had a lab? Oh, no, we just moved there. We moved here. Oh, just that. Oh. She picked up the dog out of the line. She tried to find the owner of the dog. Because he's at the vet. She's at the vet. Okay, so y'all just so y'all see they don't even know okay. they don't even know nothing. Let's just let's just look at the So nobody stays in this house. She's okay. right here in the ground. Just laying there. I just wanna make sure there's no other dog. I walked so I the way I found her, I walked to the store. I walked my dog to the store. Uh, I walked that way, but because that store was closed, I had to walk the marathon. Okay. On my way back, I was walking across the street, and I was, I was like right there, and I seen her, and I'm like, huh? So I let my dog loose. Uh, I let him come and sniff her, and he started licking her. Uh, so I'm waiting for my ride now, so I can go get my dog some powerful medicine, because my dog ain't never had gotten sick, and I've yeah. had him since he was as big as my hand, and he's the biggest dog I have. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I found her there, here, and then like. I don't know, it's just, I don't get, there's a car here, but when I knocked on the door, nobody answered. Um, there was a construction guy out here, but he said he don't, he don't own the house, he's working. So, and then I asked him, I'm like, has, how long the dog's sitting here? He's like, oh, I just pulled up, I just pulled up, I didn't even see the dog sitting there. You pulled in the driveway and you didn't even see the dog sitting right here? When you pulled in the driveway? Because I walked to the store and I walked back and... Two, two other people was walking down the street and they seen it and I, I asked them I didn't even know who was walking I asked them if they knew whose dog it was or whatnot and they're like no we don't know whose dog it is and I'm like um okay do you guys live around here they're like no we don't live around here we live over on Concord I'm like okay all right well 
that's when I grabbed I literally I went home I grabbed the towel that, she, that you wrapped her in I grabbed I grabbed the towel well it's technically a bathroom but be advised um, this area I grabbed that I brought I went and grabbed her I brought her back to the house and then I called um, Lord, I, I know somebody that works at one of a kind. I called her first and she told me to send her a video of her. And so I sent her a video, sent her pictures and stuff like that. And I was on video chat with her, talking to her and stuff like that. And um, she was talking about, well, it sounds like Parvo. So I'm like, okay, what can I give her to like stop it? She's like, do you have amoxicillin? Because amoxicillin works. I'm like, okay, I have amoxicillin pills, like actual pills. She's like, crush it and put it in some water and force her to feed it. Okay, I did that. She was breathing for a good hour. Actually full on breathing for a good hour. Lift. She was sitting in my bathtub. I had her sitting in my bathtub and her head was pointed up, okay? Okay, I, I'm a... Uh, listen, I, I got the... Um, I saw you got the other car, the other dog back, right? Yeah. I think I saw that on Facebook. Yep. Um, yeah, somebody tied him to a post over there by Firestone Park. I, can I have? A, can I ask a question? Yeah. How do I get my dog into like working with y'all? Cause he's good at that. Uh, you'd have to. I don't know. I don't know that you can. They're pretty. The officer, in the process of collecting information from a woman who was giving details about the incident, investigated the area and discovered that the caller, who had reported information about the incident, was actually a suspect. Despite this revelation, the officer proceeded to enter a nearby house after hearing the sound of a dog barking from inside. I know they use business, they use like a couple businesses that I think breed and raise them for okay. that. Yeah, because I... You have to contact the business that does that. Okay. Um... Let me see... So the dog is at the Metropolitan Vet Hospital. Can I take a picture of where, where it's at? Because I just, I want to know if she's okay. Like, cause if anything, like, if they, do you know, like, if they get her into health or whatever, are they going to find find her owner? or Because uh, whoever that, the hell she's microchipped with, they need to get the fucking trouble because especially if she well, don't live uh, in this neighborhood, ain't no, ain't no dog walking over a, here with Parvo. Like I said, it might be a lost dog. Yeah, could but why it, could have been lost for months. I don't know, but listen, uh, Metropolitan Veterinary Hospital. That's where she's at. Yeah, and here's their info down there too. Okay. So uh, just I'm give them a give them a call and uh, you know if you're interested in taking the dog, uh, let them know. Right. So uh, and they might have some questions about where it was found and stuff. Okay, too. that's fine. But uh, yeah, I have pictures of when I first found her. Yeah. I took a picture of her laying right. in the grass before I picked her up, and I called. Before I picked her up and took her home, yeah. I called the. Uh, I called Laura, and she's like, "Well, call." I called um, the three one one for the dog warden uh, yeah. people. Uh, and not then, to piss you off, I just I got to okay. move it. But but the, the last thing is, um, what was I gonna say? Uh, what was I gonna say? Uh, there was something that I I'm lost. so glad y'all got her. Uh, yeah, thanks for calling. Um, like she was I, literally, I knew she was dying. Yeah, I knew she was dying. My daughter was like, my oldest came in the bathroom. She's like, is the dog dying? I'm like, I don't know. Yeah, Get out of the you, bathroom. If you see a dog it's that, you don't know where it's from and it's that close to death. Uh, I know. Take it to the hospital. And, yeah, I know. Uh, I just, I'm glad I found her because I, I like, I really feel in the back of my head and the back of my heart. Everybody would just walk past and just leave that puppy yeah, there. She's not even did. a year old yet. Yeah, I'm glad you did too. The dog don't even look like she's six months. Unfortunately, I think you're right. I think a lot of people would just walk past. Um, what was I gonna say? It's oh, if you, yeah, I'm, I'm sure you probably will already, but. You might want to put photos of her on Facebook and I already did. say where where she's at now. I already did. Could, well, now I'm gonna I'm gonna the, edit it and add it to yeah. the hospital and see if anybody knows who whose dog it is. So, um, but I don't know. Well, uh, I I left on the form there. I left them uh, my email so that they okay. can email me if, uh, if they think it's abuse or you know. Okay, cause but. she I don't know if it was the Parvo, but because uh, um, my neighbor said that Parvo usually makes dogs stomach like shrink and stuff like that because of all the all the infections and stuff like that in inside i don't i don't know my animals 
I'm well, not gonna say never, but my animals have yet to gotten sick. Yeah. You know. I, I just think the only thing that makes me think it might not be abuse is that typically people that would neglect their dog like that wouldn't get a microchip. You right. know what I mean? So I, it it could be that it was. So are they gonna check the microchip and see like? Yeah, I'm sure they will. That's 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 it. Those are all questions. Is that in the back of the net? Oh, I'm those gonna call. Are, those okay, are really I'm all questions for them, okay. but I'm sure that they will. Okay. And uh, you know, if they think it's abuse, but if they might not. It might just be, you know, dogs go missing all the time, okay. and uh, just like your dog was snatched up. Who knows? Maybe someone. Right. Maybe someone snatched up whoever. And then realized she was sick and just. Yeah. Well, who knows? I mean. I don't who, know, but. Who knows? I I I've had I had an animal a couple years ago that had car roll. So. And um. It, it snuck up on her like she was a couple years back i had uh, a little german shepherd like three or four months old and i didn't know he was sick like two weeks after i got him he started acting like she was acting and i took him to the vet and then he ended up dying that day because it was already in his intestines it was already in his heart i don't i don't i don't mention all this because if you if you get if you do find the owner, don't let's not assume that they're abusing yeah. the dog. I know. It's okay. a cat. That's my cat. He's a dog. <laughs> he's he's be, big like a dog. He'd be fighting people. <laughs> <laughs> he came out here like, who's my mama at? <laughs> Alright, let me check this house out. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm just, I just want to make sure there's no more yeah, animals. I, it was like about like 9 30, 10 o'clock this morning. Okay. Yeah. Well, you did the right thing. I appreciate you taking care of the animal. Hi. Um, I have a question. My name is Tanya. I'm the executive director with One of a Kind Pet Rescue. Mm-hmm. Um, doc, um, Officer McCormick just delivered one of our puppies to Metro Animal Hospital in Copley that, um, according to the report, he removed from an abandoned house or someone gave him from an abandoned property. And my concern is this puppy was with one of, supposedly with one of our fosters who must have abandoned, but there's a second puppy. So am I able to get a, an officer to, to meet me at the property to see if I can get the other, pro, the other puppy that I suspect has been abandoned in the house? Uh, we can send an officer to meet you. What's the address? Is Kayla here? Kayla? No, she's not here. No? I don't even know why she was here. If she was here, she doesn't stay here. I'll stay here. She was here earlier. What else? Huh? Um, what, did you want her to call you or something? Were you trying to get in contact with her? Well, we're trying to find her. Uh, you know where her dogs are at? Her dogs? No, I don't. Those are my dogs. No! Uh, you mind if we look at them real quick? I do. I actually do, because I don't know what was going on earlier. Can you tell me what happened? Yeah, uh, she turned into a dog that was what kind emaciated. Of dog was it? And what kind of dog was it, sir? Some sort of lab, lab. A lab? Oh, yeah, I have none of those. I don't even like Labrador retrievers. Okay, before. well, you mind if we verify that real quick? No, I don't. If you can stay right there, though. No, I'm going to walk up here. No, I don't want you on. I don't want you at my this door, is, though. I mean, I know, I know, I know, but it's not your property. The dog is. No, it's not. Is, no, it's not. I have tax on my dog. I have tax on my dog. It's not your property. You, you don't have right to privacy. Here. What do you mean? You do inside your house. I'm saying, uh, why, do, why do I have to? Why do we? Have, why does the dog own? Why do you belong, own, own my dog? Though? We just wanted to verify that. How do you own my dog? No, what she, she just listen, said is that listen, you guys have property over listen, my dog. She, That's what she, she just said. She, no, not, not no. You, you didn't really hear what I said. First of all, so because like, I'm not about listen. to get my dog taken because you guys found a dog. She, over no, here. listen. She adopted two dogs. All right. Not just one. Okay, one yeah, they're not here. The, the, what, let's, let us know. verify. That's what I'm trying to tell you. She doesn't us, stay here. Look us, it up in your she computer. Was here she today. doesn't stay here, though. She was here today. I she was does here not today. stay here. I don't care. I was here today with her. Okay, I'm telling you. Right. Dog, Why don't you just let us here. see your dogs and make sure it's not the other one that she adopted? All right. Y'all get in the house. What are y'all doing? Go in the house. Now. In the house. In the house. We're, we're not trying to be difficult for something she did, okay. all right? Come to the door. Only three dogs I have, sir. I can't see him through the. It's, 
the screen. Bro, come on, man. You can see. I can't. Like, I'm not. You're not about you, to take my dog. Bro. Can you open the door for you're us. You're not about to take my dogs, man. Bro. Can you can I, see I literally come cannot to the see window over here. This is unbelievable. Yeah. <laughs> the officer met a man who provided information about the incident, revealing that the dogs present were siblings of the one in critical condition. The man also admitted that the woman who initially reported the incident was the owner of these dogs. The police officer confirmed the true details of the situation and then left the scene. They subsequently gathered more information from the woman who had initially reported the incident. No, can, can I explain the situation? Can you step out and I'll explain? I'm sorry. Why not? Like, they don't know about to just take my dogs. I got tags for my dogs and stuff. No, like, these dogs want, are belonging to me. We don't want your dogs, I promise. I don't want her to run down the street either. She'll run down the street. So, lock her inside and I'll explain what happened. If you just step out and I'll can explain. You, can you maybe remove that so we can see through the window? I mean, I. Yeah, I can do that. I can do that for sure. Get back. Bees, come on. Come here, bees. They want to look at the dogs and make sure they're all right, man. They don't know where they take the shit. Does not live here, and I just talked to that. I don't know. Where, 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 where does she live at? She lives in Cleveland, sir. She has a protection order against me, and so she's not supposed to be within. She's not even supposed to be around my house. I wasn't here earlier, so I don't know what happened. Where does she live at? She lives in Cleveland. Well, maybe, what's going on? Like, can you, like, maybe he could help you out. 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 Maybe he could help do you have a protection order against her? Huh? Do you have a protection order against her? No. She has a protection order against me. She's not even supposed to come to my house. Do you know, who the, do you know who the judge is? Yeah. My judge? That signed off on that? Uh, judge, judge McLaughlin. Judge McLaughlin. Right. She's not even supposed to be over here. Well, I want you to... So, therefore, she's just causing me a nuisance. And right now, by taking me through this process, you're causing me a nuisance as well. Why don't you call that judge tomorrow? And get a, get a, get a protection order on and, her, too? And tell them what, what happened. They said you. they won't do that. They said they won't do that. She's she's a victim for something that I didn't do, so she has a protection order on me. I can't get it. Okay, I mean, I'm just saying, like, she's violating her own protection order, right? Like, yeah. Oh, yeah, to, to should... make it so it goes both ways. Do you know what I'm saying? So they, yeah, they, they, yeah, they, it caused me less stress. Let them know what's going yeah. on, but can I just see the dogs real quick? Yeah, come on. Come on, baby. Come on to the window. Come here. Come here, boy. Come here. Yeah, they look healthy. Yeah. Okay. I mean, your dogs look healthy. I'm not too worried about it anymore. Y'all already know what the deal is, man. People keep coming in here taking my dogs off the tether and shit. Y'all are peoples, man. You work down there at the shelter, right? Yo, peoples keep coming in my yard. I'm hooking my dogs off their tether and shit. No, listen, I'm trying to tell you. It happened to me before. With this, with these, this blue nose right here, they came in my yard and took him off his tether, him and the black no, pit bull that I had. And I had to go, go go down there and go pay $50 to get my dogs back. I'm not no, messing with them like I'm that. I'm not with the shelter. I'm oh, not. Okay, no. I apologize then. Can you come outside, please? Back up. Y'all go sit down. Why do y'all keep coming in here? Go. I just want to find my puppy. What puppy? It's, she, so, so. What she, puppy? I'm going to show you something. I'm not with the shelter. I'm with one of a kind pet rescue. We have nothing the door, to do man. with the pet. Nothing to do with them. So can Kayla's you go and lock my screen door? Go in there and lock my screen door, bro. I don't need you to be out here with me. Go in the house and lock the screen door, bro. Lock the screen door. I'm not saying out. No, screen lock the screen door. You gotta lock the screen door, bro. Yeah. Damn. Don't listen to shit, man. Caleb came to one of a kind pet rescue. Okay, I know nothing about that. On on April 25th, and she and this is her signature. All right. And this is the date, April 25th. And she agreed to foster two puppies for us, Reggie and Renee. And this is the address that she gave us. I don't know why she keeps doing that. But it was all the way back in April. Okay. So I don't know. Maybe she was okay. yeah, with you this then. Is, Maybe this, not. No, actually it wasn't. Because I so, had uh, this protection order is from last year. She wasn't. Then she, calls, she called the police, right? Yeah, Did she, she reach out to you guys? Talking about that, that puppy that, 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 that oh, I, I heard somebody nice. tell me there was a dog laying in my driveway. But I know nothing of the situation. Can yeah, you tell me what the, happened, bro? Basically, Please. this puppy was like starved to death. All right, she brought it out here, put it. Wow. It was sick. It was sick. It was. It's at Metro it was like, Hospital now. It's like it was like moments from death. The only reason it's alive is because 
our she, she called us, said acted like she found it over there. We took her, took it okay. back to the uh, vet hospital. And anyway, there's the a puppy chip, has a, a brother. A I just, I'm trying to find the, the, the brother. There. There. So they know that she actually adopted the dog. No, she didn't. She's yeah, just yeah, fostering. fostering. It's still it. legally yeah. our dog. Man. And he has a, she has a brother. There's a little boy puppy. I'm just trying to find a little boy. I know nothing of that. I know I take care of those. So yeah, there, we don't want your no. dogs. I just yeah. want Golden little... Doodle, my dogs are expensive, man. I can't lose my puppies, man. I love them to death and I will fucking die if something happened. Somebody tried to steal my pit bull a couple of days ago. I had to put a post on Facebook telling me don't call the police because then I would have to go down to the shelter and pay $50 again right. to get my dog back. And I'm not trying to go through that again. I just bought his tags and all of that. They stole his tags and everything. No, we, we, I have no interest you in know, your so dog. I was kind of nervous. I apologize yeah. for that. Though. I had to protect myself, though. Yeah, and I don't have anything to do with the pound. Kay, this person, this Kayla, just agreed to foster you, uh, these puppies. If you leave a number with me, I could possibly find somebody to get in contact with. We have three children together, though. So, I, I, I mean, I'm trying to stay out of trouble so I can get back to my children. You know, that's my main thing right now. I'm trying to stay out of trouble so I can get back to my children. But yeah. I can't get back to my children because of the drama that she put in between us. So I have to wait. Yeah. yeah. Can, should he have my? Uh, that's you. Yeah, because I'll give it to my. card I gave you, and yeah, then I'll just I can give, give it to my mother, card. and then you know we can work it out, and I can get the information to her some type of way. You just call us back if you get more information yeah. about where the dogs are at. Yeah, yeah cause that's uh, mommy. Can you uh, can you GPS them? Can you no, figure out where they are no. exactly? Uh, also, you just scan the ship to ownership. show who's the ownership. Yeah. Okay. You have you you've not seen her lab at all, but. Her lab mixed up at all. I don't, I don't deal with Labrador Retrievers. I don't like Labrador Retrievers. It's a shepherd. Shepherd lab. Yeah. I got the golden. I got the golden doodle in there. That's as close as I'm gonna get to a Labrador Retriever or a Golden Retriever. That's as close as I'm gonna get. That's as close as I'm gonna get. I don't know. Like okay. She so, stays somewhere around here. She stays in Cleveland, Ohio. And I, I've dealt with her a few times out here before. That's, that's Actually, possible. with the that's possible with that same your blue nose pit bull. That's possible. That's possible. She lost it over at the dog. That's possible. Home. That's possible. That's what I'm trying to tell you. My yeah. dog just got stolen. You feel me? Because she came to my house, had access to my house without my permission, took my dog out of the house, mm -hmm. and got him stolen. And so, under you know, a restraining I can't order. Even, I, can't even, I don't have a restraining order against her. She no, has she one does. against me. Yeah. Period. So, you know, there's nothing I can really do about that. Well, you got to let the judge know. I will. I mean, I told the I judge that. I told the judge that her and the other girl keep riding past me, pulling up on me at the store, threatening me and shit, and they don't do shit. There's nothing I can do, bro. I'm fucked up of the, the, the river. Of the creek without a paddle. Okay. You know? Well, listen, if you want to, you can give me your information. I'll document it. Okay. You know, I'm not going to bullshit you. Right. If you want to, I don't, I'm not going to. I don't have any reason to force you to, but if you want to, you can give me your name and stuff. I can document it. But she came here. I guess yeah, you can back, yeah for sure, I'll give you my name. Hell yeah. So you can look it up and see I'm not BSing you, man. Jeremiah Williams. You already know the deal. Unfortunately, she can't violate her own protection order. Great. Right? Great. So hopefully it helps so I can go see my kids. I haven't seen my kids yeah. in almost two years, man. Okay. I don't need it. You don't you want just it? give it to the judge. Well, I, I, that's the thing, man. I don't, I'm not working with the judges. I'm not going to see the judge. Don't worry about it. Don't worry but about it. But if you call don't me, Tom. Don't, don't, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I got a lot to go ahead and get to. You it's his birthday have... today. It's his birthday today, so I got a lot to do. All right. I'm sorry. Do you, do you have any knowledge of her coming to our rescue? Okay, I just. I had, I had the pit bull. I had the pit bull like his mother. I was a breeder a while a while back. I was a breeder. I bred him, his mother, and his father. Were you here last year? I Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. I can't believe you guys feel like that on a daily basis. All the time. Oh. Here's the thing that uh, the blue of the boy got in there. Yeah. Uh, she came, so she, like, probably a month ago, she went to Dollar General. It was loose. It, like, followed her. Yeah. You know? Um, do you care if I had the body camera on? Oh, no, go ahead. You're, whatever uh, you have to do. I can keep it on. Um, I just like to remind it. Yeah, yeah. This is like a month ago at Dollar General. She <coughs> left the dog outside, untethered, un nothing. Yeah. And she tried to call and say someone stole her dog. 
She's in Dollar General for like 10 minutes. The dog's just loose running around the parking lot. So, you know, a random car comes up. I guess they like the dog because it's a pretty dog. They open the door. It hops up in the car and takes off. And she put it on, like, Facebook. I saw she got it back over Facebook. But she wanted to report it stolen, you know. It's like someone just thought it was a straight dog. Right. Yeah, so Boy, it's like, she sounds like she it's so weird. I don't know if there's something wrong with her or what, but gotcha. she's like, she doesn't seem crazy when you talk to her, you know, but. Gotcha. Is she um, African-American as well? No, she's a uh, white, blonde hair. Oh, okay. Yeah. She, um, the other day when she was here, I mean, she had, she was in the house, she had access to the house. Like, earlier oh. today, but he wasn't here? But he, I didn't see him at all earlier. Gotcha. Strange. Yeah. Okay, I have a card for you if you want it. Another sure. business card. Yeah. Oh, okay. Like I said, I'm just trying to. You want to move on? Yeah. Hi. So um, there's an after policeman here. He is in regarding the situation earlier today. Um, he wants to know if you got the link, if you were able to upload the documents, or yeah, you did. You did all that. Okay. Um, I guess they're wanting to move on this. So. Let me make sure that her signature, Perfect. her address, everything, yeah. that's okay. it. I mean, Perfect. Perfect. All right. So, yeah, so does she still have the other copy? That, I don't, I'm not you sure. You don't know? I'm not sure what kind of what transpired. I know that we're on the train board and we're on that route. So we'll kind of go from there and you guys will be in contact. Oh, yeah, because if the puppy survives, which we don't know, okay. it's going to be thousands of dollars for us. Yeah, and that's so if all that goes through, keep record of all of that and yeah. keep track of it, and then we'll be able to kind of go up. Yeah. Oh, sure. Okay. As far as hopefully, we'll be able to get the prosecutor and record of all that, and we'll be able to kind of good, go after good. it. Well, we're yeah. going to be able to it. I guess it would be half the fact, unfortunately. But hopefully, so we are yeah. passionate to this, especially yeah. depending on the judges. The woman who called the police was charged with dog negligence. This means she was held responsible for failing to properly care for or supervise her dogs, which likely contributed to the situation or incident involving them. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the like button, share your thoughts in the comments section, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. To stay updated on our future videos, click on the notification bell icon after subscribing. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.